Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our premium, premium Traders Tools webinar, part one. So because it's a, it's a quite a big package of uh, tools that you can use, I had to split them into two sessions. So before we start, I would like to uh, confirm whether you can hear me loud and clear. So I will appreciate, uh, I will appreciate a feedback from you guys as usual. Uh, it's crucial to uh, be aware aware whether you can see me here. Oh, so you, you can see my slides, you can hear my voice. Okay, I haven't enabled camera today. It's on Stuart's PC. So nevertheless, uh, 10 out of 10. Perfect. Perfect. So also, I would like to send you the link for the premium tools. Okay. Uh, this is um, this is a free tool, a free down a, a package that you can use. Obviously, when I'm saying free, you won't be charged, but there are some requirements that need to be met. I, it's, that, it's based uh, on uh, different countries, whether you are placing the world, but I mean, I think you should have some, uh, a small amount of uh, balance um, in order to be able to download it. If I'm not mistaken, I think that it's, it's Oh, no, actually, this is the only condition, if I'm not mistaken. But yes, you can uh, see the terms of condition in order to be sure about it or ask our support team uh, via the live support. So until I officially start, I need to go through the disclaimer warning. This material provides a general marketing communication for information purposes only and does not constitute independent investment research. Nothing in this communication can communication contains or should be considered as containing investment advice or an investment recommendation or solicitation for the purpose of buying or selling of any financial instrument. All information is gathered from reputable sources and any information containing an indication of past performance is not guaranteed or reliable indicator of future performance. Users are knowledge that any investment in leverage products is characterized by a certain degree of uncertainty and that any investment of this Nature involves a high level of risk for, for which the users are solely responsible and liable. We assume no liability for any loss arising from any uh, investment made based on the information provided in this communication. This communication must not be reproduced or further distributed without our prior written permission. Risk warning, trading leverage products as a, such as Forex and derivatives may not be suitable for all investors as they carry a high degree of risk to your capital. Please ensure that you fully understand the risks involved, taking into account your investment objectives and level of experience before trading, and if necessary, seek independent advice. Please read the full risk, the risk disclosure in our website. So, guys, admin is out of the way. Sorry, just a second. <clears throat> okay, so how many people we have here? Guys, is any one of you a user of premium tools? Uh let me just show you the screen as well. Sorry about that, my daughter wants to know who was talking. Andrea is talking. Andrea, I'm from Cyprus, a tiny, tiny, tiny island <laughs> in the Mediterranean Sea. So here I am. <laughs> in regards to my face, you can see it on the website. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. So God bless your daughter. How old is she? Hello, Joseph. Hello. Only a tiny person is five. Okay. Brilliant. God bless her. God bless you. So guys, um, I think you can see my screen. Yes, it's the premium tra traders tools page. Uh, as I said, it's for free. Uh, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm sure that is free, but there is a minimum balance required, okay? I, I don't remember precisely how uh, much is it. I, I don't think it's too much, but uh, just be sure, please read the terms and conditions. 
So it's a it's a package of a lot of things. So we're gonna see uh, one by one today what uh, what it includes. So uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. so what we're gonna cover today? Uh, the very first five, if I'm not mistaken. Come on, I'm struggling. Here. So we're gonna see the the uh, mini uh, charts, the trade and mini terminal, the connect uh, and session map, the tick chart trader, uh, and some. If we manage, if we have enough time, we might see some empty for uh, indicators as well. So the premium. Sorry, that's my bad. Over here, I'm saying MT4 indicators, but the package available in both MT4 and MT5. Okay, so don't worry about it. I will correct it later on. So, <clears throat> let's start. Let's start first uh, with a small small intro of what precisely this, what the, uh, the premium tools precisely uh, is. So as I said, it's a package with a lot of tools that you can use. Basically, uh, it contains uh, some indicators, but also it contains some uh, expert advisors that you can use, okay? Uh, so it's basically, it's a, it's a package of uh, expert advisors, okay? As I said, both applicable in MT4 and MT5, what you have to do is enter the, um, uh, visit the website that I, uh, I show you, okay? And you can, okay, oh, there are, it's, uh, the, there are different, um, all these are the, what is included in the package, okay? So by clicking learn more, in any of these uh, uh, in any of these uh, tabs you can here is a download button which you can download the uh, your uh, package obviously you need to log in okay to be in, logging into your hfm area so it will be there will be a download box again for the premium tools it will be downloaded on your pc and the only thing that you have to do is just close and open your MT4 or MT5 uh, to close it and open it again in order to uh, to everything to be sync and then you, you, for you to be to see you, the the package in your MT4 or MT5. So here is my MT4 over here. It will be on this uh, format. You PTT so Premium Traders Tools. So here are the indicators and here are the uh, expert advisor. So in front, you will, you can see that there is a PTT, capitals PTT, Premium Traders Tools, um, which are the different expert advisors and indicators that this package includes. But let's take everything step by step. Um, <clears throat> uh, basically, just very, very briefly, have in mind that is, uh, as I said, it's a combination of expert advisors. And what's the purpose of it? Is the purpose of it is that um, it can help you. Uh, it can help you uh, uh, from a technical perspective with your technical analysis. Uh, it can uh, help you also. Um, uh, uh, you will be able to monitor other assets and their momentum and their trend and etc. At, at the same time, uh, while you have um, while you have opened a particular chart, you can also uh, scan and uh, monitor other assets as well. So the, if this is what we are referring to the mini uh, the mini terminal and the and the uh, the normal terminal. I will explain uh, one by one. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, before we start, however, just to let you know that it's offered in multiple languages. 14, if I'm not mistaken, more than 14. Uh, yeah, 20, sorry, 20 uh, languages, 20 different languages. Um, also, 
the EAs, the expert advisors that the premium traders tools offer uh, can be minimized, uh, maximized. So you can see that, the, that you will be able to see different, many, many uh, information in a single chart, in a single um, uh, window, let's say, okay? So, but, but we're gonna see everything uh, one by one. Uh, please, it's not good. Can you please drop a link for this video to be? Yeah, Isa. Okay, I will reply to Isa because if uh, you, your network is uh, cropping or stored or not good, you might uh, you might not be able to hear me loud and clear. So I will just set text here. Text here. The recording will be sent to your email inbox as soon as we finish that session. Okay. Okay, I've replied to Isa. Cool. Okay, let's move on. So where the premium trade the trade those tools just just very very briefly before we see the trade terminal have in mind guys that it helps you uh with uh, your risk management with your trade management trade execution it provides you some sophisticated alarms and messages news as well in the same window uh in uh, news actually on your uh, mt4 or mt5 without um, you having a Google tab or something uh, next to you. Uh, so it keeps you, it has some kind of a user configurable news and market data info. Uh, it, it provides you live uh, live sentiment. Uh, it, it keeps you posted with any correlation, strong, weak ones. So yeah, there is a, there is a, there, it has a correlation tracking as well and many, many, many others. But let's start with the very, very first figure. The very, very first figure is the trade terminal. I will show exactly how it looks like. Here is a screenshot, but also it has different um, looks. You can amend it accordingly. I will explain uh, right now what I mean by that. So the very, very first uh, figure and maybe the most important of all, actually the main one, it's not that uh, I personally uh, like also the correlation matrix and the uh, indicators package as well, but let's take it one by one. The trade terminal, okay, uh, that it looks like that, a part of it at least looks like that. We're going to see it in, in my MT4 as well, but let me explain firstly what it is. The trade terminal uh, is contained, first of all, by three parts. Market watch, accounts, you know what, I'm going to just quickly turn into MT4, because it's better if you can see that uh, as well live. So I will drag and drop it here. It is under the expert advisors trade terminal. So I'm dragging and dropping it. Oops, what have I done? Sorry. Okay. Ready. Perfect. Um, bam, 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 bam. So it looks like that. Okay, I need to amend it a bit just to to help me to help me a bit. And I just noticed that we have the the previous logo in our premium tools. Excuse us. I will inform the co. I will inform the relevant team to amend it because, as you know, we have changed our we have become HFM. Um, so um, because we no longer. Uh, uh, provide only, uh, we have also the physical stocks, we have uh, diversified the products that we have. We are offering, so we no longer hold Forex, but it's HFM nowadays, right? So, um, so it looks like that, okay? Over here, you have your watch list, which you can manage. So let's assume that you are, you want to see uh, in the same window, you want to see, I don't know, dollar yen, Actually, I'm going to amend it, okay? Uh, da, 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 da. I want to add gold for sure. Yes, I want also, I like uh, checking dollar index. Oops, 
US, USD index. Where is my USD index? USD index are like watching oil. Yes, what else? I want to remove the duplications over here. Which is, ignore that, this will not happen to you. It's me and, because um, I'm in a demo server, an old server, it's a lot of, uh, so, okay, okay. So I want pound, I want Aussie, Euro, Kiwi is fine. I have added also, uh, I have added gold, I have added uh, oil. What else do I need? Uh, I will have, I want to have a stock as well, actually. Yes, yes, I want to add also. Oh. Let me check what have we done over here. Okay. Oops. Give me a second, guys. Why, why haven't did I click on it? Okay, ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> US oil. Okay, perfect. So, so as I was saying, it looks like that. So what, let's take one by one. What is all this that we can see? Okay, the very first one. Okay, the very first one uh, is the um, is the main the main uh, as you can see the main window, which has all the markets over here so commodities metals for currency pairs emerging currency pairs shares um all over the world okay the, the stock market is still closed so we cannot really uh you can see that th these are uh, it's not it's not really uh updating because the market uh is closed right now but you can see that the stock that the currency pair over here is just uh keep uh, updating. Uh, so you have an overview, first of all, you have an overall view of what's going on in the market, okay? The bid, the ask, the high, the low. If you had open positions, you will have uh, over here your profits, loss, and etc. So if you had several op uh, positions uh, open, you will be able to see over here the uh, the outcome and also you can amend it as well open a new trade uh, close a position hedge a position reverse a position or add some uh, uh, assets into your watch list over here and you can see also the floating uh, pnl and etc in the bottom you can see more detail table what I mean by detail, you can see the risk taken, the pips, so the, the, the position size, uh, the duration, if you were holding a particular position for days or hours, and etc. swaps, and so on and so forth. So it's a more, uh, it's a more uh, in detail uh, table in the bottom, uh, which I will explain uh, in a second, but let's take it uh, one by one, as I was saying. So, um, and on the left hand side is the watch list that you can uh, cre create uh, either by uh, having uh, the most popular or the ones that you are mostly interested in. I think there are a lot of you that uh, they are mainly gold traders or metal traders. So I assume that the very first thing that you would like to uh, have next to you to, over here to, would be um, gold. Uh, so Oh, no, can't, sorry. Uh, it will be gold. Save. I didn't save this last time, that was it.
sorry. Where is it? Okay, here it is in the bottom. So with this U way, you will be able to open a quick position without uh, a lot of hassle, you see? Because in this little window, you will be able to uh, uh, put on your lot size, uh, profit, um, stop loss, and just buy or uh, go long or short, and etc. So, uh, but I will show you how. Don't worry about this. So, um, so it gives you firstly an overview of everything's going on in the market, equity market, the forex market, metals, etc. And it gives you also uh, some figures like margin, uh, uh, floating profit and loss. You can see this in the top, your equity. This is a demo account, obviously, and etc. So a very, very briefly an overview. Also, it gives you this list with all the open positions okay or close position or losing position uh, and it gives you the uh, the um uh, it, it gives you a, 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 a it's a quicker way let's say to um, manage to close a position or to partially close a position or to change the, the stop loss the take profit the trade stop loss without going one by one uh, twitch uh, of your uh, charts and amend it and click uh, right click and click modify and etc. With this way, you can just do it over here. Okay, so a uh, new position. I want to buy. I want to be. I want to be in cash. So I don't want to risk more than fifty dollars. So you see, you have this availability as well. Uh, it's not only that you can choose. You can choose this either a percentage of your equity or a percent of your balance or just fixed cash risk. No need to put it in lot size or, or etc. If you prefer, so this simplifies a bit the uh, the way you can open a position without considering the lot price and etc. You can just put on the amount of money that you are willing to. Uh, risk in this particular order. Uh, your stop loss, again, stop loss and take profit could also be, uh, um, be uh, you can choose it either by pips, like we're doing a normal open position way, or uh, at a fixed price, which is what we use to do um, uh, if we were not using the trade terminal. By the way, can you see that the, the trade terminal is a different tab? So if you want to actually see also or going back and forth to check your charts as well, you can. At the same time, you have the terminal. So bam, 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 bam. But one tab of all this is your terminal. So over here in the stop loss and take profit, you cannot cho choose the fixed cash that you want to risk or the fixed cash that you want to profit. So if let's say you want, if you if if something happens and the position comes against you, you don't want to lose more than $25, let's say, then you can use put in dollars. If you want to uh, gain 150, then you put it in cash target as well. So that simplifies a bit uh, uh, the, the, the procedure of opening uh, an order and also the risk management procedure, right? Because you don't have to uh, convert everything in lots, such as in lots, in order to find the appropriate lot size based on your risk and reward ratio, etc. You can uh, just use the fixed cash risk, or you can choose uh, and say, okay, I don't want to risk more than one percent of my balance or five percent of my equity. And so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, so that's the very, very first, um, the very, very first uh, step. By the way, for each of those uh, figures, so the trade uh, terminal, the mini terminal, uh, the connect, the color relation matrix, we have guides user guides okay so don't worry if you there is anything sorry what tool are you looking at i'm looking the trade terminal uh, from the premium traders tools and okay 
So guys, each, I will come back to you, you see, um, in this page, in the premium test page, okay? Uh, now we are checking the trader terminal, okay? Which is the very first tool that helps you, not only with analysis, but quick execution, because you have these abilities of um, opening position um, uh, via the terminal, okay? Um, uh, what I was about to say. Ah, okay. So in each of these, in this website where, where uh, we explain all the, 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 the things that they, they are containing this uh, uh, package, you can see that we have these buttons, learn more, learn, learn more, learn more. So for the trade terminal, for example, learn more, it will redirect you to the trade terminal uh, website. So over here, there, there are, in each of these figures, you can see a video. Okay, video explaining again and again uh, how uh, it can be used, what it uh, in, what it includes, uh, how the figures that the trade terminal has to help you, and etc. Okay, and uh, along with that, there is a download user manual as well. Again, one by one, um, what it contains and how you can use them. So we're gonna obviously we're gonna go through them today, and this is what we're doing, but in case that you don't want to watch the webinar again, or you don't have the time to watch the webinar again, you can just open the user's guide, search what you want to search. Let's say that you are interested on in setting some alarms. So you go straight to the user guide, go to the session alarms, and you see how to set your alarm. Or if you want to modify an, a, uh, an order, how you can do that, Okay, this is quite straightforward because it's over here, <laughs> right? So, uh, but uh, yeah, with a user guidance, uh, it's over there, so you can download it. You have it, kind of have it open, and uh, in case you forgot something or you're not sure about something, you can always run on the user uh, guidance. So, um. So account summary on the top, order list over here, the markets, all the markets are available, or the instruments available, um, the watch list on the left-hand side, which you can amend according, uh, according to the assets, you can just have the assets that you want. Uh, the bottom line uh, is a more uh, in-depth, um, in-depth, uh, um, information about your trades, okay, and your profit, your net profit, uh, and your all your open or closed uh, trades. Okay, so you have the, you can, there are some filters on this line. So if you want to check all the orders, then uh, this is will be by default. But if you are, uh, want to monitor your pending orders, well, whether they are ready to be triggered or not, you can filter and cross accord accordingly. If you want to close automatically all your, let's assume that you had, I don't know, five uh, positions open and they were all in profit and you didn't want to spend a lot of time, maybe we were, we were, every single one of them was a dollar crosses and you were like long on dollar or something and you wanted to close everything because they were uh, profitable. So you can click close all. Or let's assume that you have you opened so many uh, positions uh, that you want to close only the winners. By clicking, this will automatically close all the winning positions and hold all, uh, hold open all, all the losing ones, okay? So you see, it, it, it's about um, fast execution, let's say. Okay, fast execution. So all these figures and this filtering over here, it just uh, simplify uh, everything. Um, so it's like a quick, it provides you quick access uh, tools. Okay. Um, let me just scan a bit to see whether I'm forgetting something before I move on to the next uh, uh, tab. Okay, tools. Here we are. So over here, it was something that we 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 can see here as well. Okay, we can see in the 
in this over, uh, overall uh, view, but there is a filtering over here as well. So what is this? As you can see, when I tap, when I click on it, okay, over here, okay, obviously I don't have any uh, orders open, that's why it's like that. So these tools, the tool helps you either partially close at the same time all of your orders, let's say that all of your orders are winning, okay, like the scenario that we explained earlier. So you want to close a part of it, but from all of them. So you want to lock some profits. You want to lock, I don't know, the 70% of your uh, profits, the 50% of your profits. So with this way, you just you can just go here, choose the appropriate percentage for you, and the orders will be partially closed all at once with a single click. Are you okay so far, guys? Hopefully you are. But it's not only that, it's not only about partial close or close. You see, uh, uh, all the other options that it offers you, hedge, reverse, edit your, edit, sorry, I lost it. Edit your positions, or you can use to break even if something is going um, not as you wish um, in regards to the stop loss. Uh, so you can amend also your positions uh, without actually doing it manually because it gives you all these all these uh, choices. So let's assume that you had a, I don't know a, a gold trade, a long gold, but the gold was uh, started to uh, moving against you, and um, um, okay, you needed to act fast, and you decided that is better. You decided because I don't know there's a lot of turmoil in the market, a lot of uncertainty. You decided that um, you will be okay to at least break even. So you have this option to click break even, and the um, uh, order will be automatically adjusted on your um, on your uh, choice uh, by to break even uh, on the stop loss, or you want the stop loss to be 20 pips away, 10 pips away. No stop loss. That's prohibited actually. Okay, risk management first of all. So let's not forget what we learned. Risk management. Uh, fix or you want to be at a fixed price, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, ten dollars, up to you. So I think you got the point. The same stands for take profit option over here. Um, the, the same stands for trailing stop, okay, or break even exits. Just automatically click on that, and you that will be adjusted to your orders. Or you want to create your own automated close. What I mean by that? Maybe you are following a particular uh, strategy that you have created that it works for you, or etc. You have, uh, or um, you have. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Depends on how many uh, uh, how many months, years you are trading, right? Each one of you might have its own uh, plan, its own uh, structure, and you you follow it, right? But maybe it's not something that you can find it i mean um, um you can um you want to automate it okay you don't want to you don't have a lot of time to keep monitoring your, your uh, position so you want to automate a close in a particular way in order for you not to worry every single time and uh, checking your mobile or your terminal or etc so you want to be sure that sure that it will um uh, it will close at at the at, at uh, it will automatically close okay so we have this automated close option okay where you can decide how you want your position to close automatically by setting some rules and some conditions and once these conditions and rules are met the platform uh, and the terminal will close the position for you. So over here, what choices you have? You can actually say, okay, you can say that when um, I don't know when uh, the total uh, floating profit and loss 
is equal or greater than, I don't know, $200. I want a partial close. Um, partial close at 70%. So you, with this way, every single time that your position hits 20, uh, $200 dollars of profit, the 70 percent you, you will lock the 70 percent uh, you lock profits the 70 percent more precisely in volume the original volume oh that, that was just my own um, rule okay the one that i just came just on my mind right now but it doesn't necessarily needs to be this one i mean there are a lot of options that you, as you can see over here you can say that once it hit there will be greater or equal than 200 uh, i want the stop loss to move and to uh, maybe to move higher if you are in a long position and to um, uh, to move higher and to be 10 pips below the price or i want to once i have more than 200 dollars of profit uh, i want to set this the target um 15 pips higher just this is just random numbers guys okay the random numbers is just uh, that's you need to adjust this based on your um, um uh, strategy if you're following a strategy and you have a, a system for closing position maybe you're using atr maybe you're using a particular risk and reward ratio uh two to one or something uh, maybe you i don't know it's it's up to you or you can choose also based on their a trailing stop okay or uh, you can say okay if i have more you have a profit of more than 200 dollars i would like uh to uh to remove oh, no to remove the no um to remove my trailing stop or to remove my stop loss and etc that wouldn't be wise but it's up to you i don't know what kind of system you have so i cannot eliminate any of these choices or very simply you might want to be alert because you are not all 24 7 on your pc you might just want an alert if your uh if your to total floating profit and loss is equal or greater than 200 you want a pop-up alert and an email as well just in case not to miss out uh, the message because as i said you might not be on your laptop pc and etc mobile and you want to to have a notification just to take action right so uh, for, for I believe that that's a very, very uh, a great help, especially for um, for people people that cannot be uh, all the time uh, watching the uh, their positions. And obviously, along with these automated um, partial closures or closures or hedging and etc. Uh, so what else? So let's move on. Uh, I want to leave the OCA for the last. Uh, what does, uh, please, what does it mean, pips? What do you, Joseph, how long you, you've been a trader? I don't understand. Are you a, new, a newbie over here? You have never traded because you're asking me one of the most fundamental questions. What is a pip? Okay, that explains that. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'm not sure whether this webinar is good for you then, because you need to start from the basics. Okay, PEEP is the measurement, let's say, uh, in which the price uh, moves in a given uh, exchange rate. A, a PEEP is the price move. Okay, is a price move. So um let's find an example so over here i have euro dollar euro against dollar right 
and uh, okay, can you see these numbers? This is the euro uh, euro dollar uh, price. So the so you see, it's, it's over, right now the euro euro dollar is at one point a zero eight three one. Okay, so this. Uh, the change that we are seeing in the value of the asset of the euro dollar, okay, the, the change, the change in the price, so this move is measured in pips. Pips, by the way, is the price interest point. This is uh, the abbreviation of it, pip. So it's the change in value. Like we have, um, I don't know, uh, if you want, if we want to measure um, the distance, we measure it in kilometers, meters, <laughs> etc., or the speed of the car, etc. This is a measurement. It's measurement of the um, uh, price uh, movement. So and you see that it's in, de in decimal places, in five decimal places. So in this case, for this particular uh, currency pair, euro dollar, uh, one pip is is equal with not point not 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 one. So in the fourth decimal place. Okay. Yeah. So let's get back. To the terminal. So we have seen the alarms, we have seen the closing charts, the order list, how you can partially close, fully close, modify. Uh, the modify if you if you want to do, if you want to modify a lot of um, uh, a lot of uh, positions at the same time is over here. If you want to take it one by one, you just click on this. So if you had an opposite position in euro dollar, let's say you want to modify it, then uh, okay. Right now I I, don't, I cannot see this um, a function over here because I don't have an open position, but there will be a modification as well over here. So if you want to add it to your watch list, if you want to open a position, so it will be done over here, um, or if you want to check the chart. So I click the chart and it it it, gave, it, 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 uh, it turned me straight to the chart. Wow, well, sorry. And I can get back to my terminal. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Simple, simple information is where you can see the pip size, my dear Joseph. Uh, so if now that you are, uh, I mean, because you are new, and a lot of things might, a lot of these things might not be familiar. Uh, this kind of info per asset, okay? This is not the same for every single asset. Uh, this kind of info, the PIP size, the value per PIP, the spread, etc., could be also seen by by clicking on this uh, um, uh, on the tools icon and click on the simple uh, information. Also, you can create your own templates, by the way. Okay. Um, yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. That was about trade terminal. So I'm closing this one for now. Okay, I'm closing it. Obviously, you can have it open, by the way. Okay, you can have all these expert advisors open because each one of them is in a different uh, tab. Okay, so uh, it it won't like it won't um, uh, you don't have to close it and open it every single time. You can keep it on your uh, on your tabs. Where did I click on now? Yeah, so if you want to have it first, okay, here it is over here. Bam, great. So now um, let's get back to our um, um, everything that we have just mentioned. Uh, it's on the it's on the uh, it's on the slides as well. But anyway, we have the user guidance, we have the videos. You can, you will have the recording of the webinar as well. 
So let's move on. Let's see now the OCA is something that I uh, haven't, I, I left for last, okay? OCA stands for one cancels all. Okay, so let's get back to the MT4 and I'll get back to the terminal. And you see this little icon over here in the bottom, OCA. You can create your own OCA group. Ah, that's a shame. I need to open it to positions in order to pending position to, to create. Okay, let's do that then. Let's open it to uh, two uh, pending positions. Um, um, do, do, do. Let's open, I don't know. Let's open, I don't know. Okay, okay. Let's just, I will randomly open two positions just for the sake of demonstration, nothing uh, more than that. Um, Give me a second, guys, just to, to open one. Nine six. Mm. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm back to you, but I'm struggling with my demo account. So uh, as I uh, was saying, uh, one cancel all. So basically, again, it's a matter of fast uh, execution. This is what it helps you. Uh, so uh, let me just. So this is on the, as you can see on the, it's the, it's the very, very bottom of the trade uh, terminal. And basically what it does is let you create a one cancel all group for all of your pending orders. So a group where all the remaining orders are automatically deleted, okay? When one of the orders is filled, okay? 
So, um, this is something that uh, uh, is processed, by the way, not by us, HFM, but by the trade terminal software, okay? By the trade terminal software. So, um, so you can create basically your own group by clicking as we just, just let me just bring back my, um, so over here you can create your own uh, OCA and it will look like that, okay? Okay, and you can pretty much, um, uh, so you can you will have the option uh, but only if you have at least two pending orders okay at least two pending orders okay? so for any a group a OCA one cancel all group to be created we need at least two pending orders so you can name it as you wish I mean it doesn't matter you might want you might have, you might want to separate them per asset. I mean, forex, metals, energies, etc. You might want to separate them by currency. So these are dollar crosses, these are Aussie crosses, etc. It's up to you. The name is up to you. So with this way, you will be able to uh, recognize quicker which uh, group of pending orders you want to cancel. But let's assume that you had set some pending orders uh, that. Um, uh, all of them, they were like uh, long for dollar, for US dollar. But I don't know, something happened, maybe something with the banks like like two weeks ago, I don't know, something in the news or uh, economic data, etc. And the dollar is now getting weaker and weaker. And you uh, want to cancel this pending order and instead to be replaced by uh, selling position, by short positions. So this is what we mean that is, is provide you a fast execution. With this way, you can, you can delete that particular group of pending orders that uh, it concluded and contained by long dollar positions, pending positions, okay? Um, by the way, a single order, a single pending order can belong to multiple, uh, one cancel all group and orders of uh, in the same group can be different symbols like i said you might wish to separate them per asset class you can do whatever you want um, you can automatically delete this group as, as well uh, but have in mind that if you decide to delete completely a group Please note that this does not delete uh, does not delete the uh, the pending orders. Okay, it only stops the trade terminal from running these orders, but they won't delete them. So the pending orders will stay there, but they will not be triggered. Uh, triggered. So the the, the trade terminal uh, uh, it will stop the trade terminal from running these rules on those particular orders uh, and on the very very last before we move on to the next figure is this setting button over here okay uh, that again uh, it, uh, it it's just some it gives you some options in regards to the alerts so if you want to hear a sound when a new market order um where the when a new market open uh, like uh is triggered or uh, every time that you're setting a new pending order or a filled pending order is when that it's fill, a pending order is filled uh, or a, when a pending order is closed or you, you might want to, everything to be muted, right? So that's just some basic settings of the, uh, this particular app or the patches as well uh, over here. So that's pretty much it. And it, it, it this is pretty much it. It for the trade terminal. So let's move on with the next topic. Okay. We have, yes, this is how the, sorry, my bad. 
You see over here, we had two, um, uh, two pending positions, one for sell a limit for Kiwi and a buy stop for Kiwi. So you can name the group as uh, uh, Kiwi or dollar, uh, Kiwi dollar or something, up to you. And this is how it looks like, and you can create the group like uh, that. Uh, we have uh, we went through those with one click entry for simple market orders from your watch list. You can just with a single uh, with a single one click and you can have a single one uh, click entry, right? Like that. If you want to sell, you click sell. If you want to buy, you click buy, and it automatically opens. One click entry. Okay, one click entry. This is what my slideshow is showing over here. One click entry. Uh, and you can amend it later on if you wish, or if you want to be to create your own template for ordering position, uh, uh, you can just um, get back, click over here, this yellow icon, okay? Create a template uh, and say that, I don't know, open a long position every time dollar, uh, you the dollar moves uh, by, 10 pips or 20 pips or something. Well, there are some rules. I showed the, that earlier, um, so I don't want to repeat it. We have seen all these. Uh, we have seen all these options that the uh, the template offer. Um, uh, how many um, the, the the lot size in cash, in percentage of equity, in percentage of balance, or in pips. The stop loss the same. The take profit the same and so on and so forth, and you will you can save this template and you can use it automatically the, in your uh, next um, position and uh, the very next one, the very next one without uh, doing again and again all these procedure. I mean, predetermine your stop loss, your take profit, your lot size and so on and so forth. So let's move on and let's go to the mini terminal. Now, because we have covered the trade terminal, the mini tra terminal is quite straightforward because it's just a, um, a smaller version, a summary, let's say, of the actual terminal, okay? So, the basic figures, sorry, the basic figures that the, uh, the mini terminal offers, basically it's an extension of the trade terminal, okay? So, is designed for traders who want to concentrate on specific markets that they don't wish to have an overall view uh, of all the asset uh, of the of all the, uh, the, the 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 assets and the um, all of all the assets that they are, they are available. They just uh, they want to. Uh, concentrate on a particular or specific market. So they want to see only those. So, as I said, it's an extension of the uh, trade terminal. So the difference between those two is the fact that um, it has some uh, simp simpler uh, fields uh, for setting your stop loss, your take profit, your turning stop. Uh, it has pop up calculations that helps you calculate without. Uh, brow, going to a browser or something on the MT4, you can actually, uh, the, um, while you're watching your charts, you can uh, have a pop-up calculator in which you can work your uh, lot size, uh, risk, uh, and etc. cetera. Uh, you, you have open position market as well, a pop-up dealing for creating pending orders as well as market orders, ability to create templates for quick order entries, um, and it provides you quick links for closing all positions or all winning or losing position or partial uh, po closing a position or reversing or hedging a position. This is the same figures that we can see in the actual terminal, but in the mini terminal, you will see there is a, the, uh, the way they are presented is quite uh, simpler. Okay, and it's, as I said, it's, um, uh, it has the necessities, let's say, and, in a, and much simpler fields. So basically this uh, terminal contains, it's, it's the latest version of, uh, this, this mini terminal say, it contains something called smart lines technology. 
Okay, so it it lets you create sophisticated and flexible stop losses and take profit simply by drawing lines. Okay, so I will just show you. Let's get back to. So let's pop in the mini terminal. Drag and drop, okay, okay, okay. So, very first thing that we can use, see is the mini terminal, this is it. <laughs> this is pretty much it, as you can see. So, um, this is little window, and these two areas over here, I'm gonna explain uh, uh, precisely what uh, are these, but let's take it one by one. Okay, mini terminal. So as you can see, because I was in a yen for our chart, the mini terminal uh, auto automatically was settled at cat yen. Obviously, you can amend it, by the way. Bitcoin euro, and it automatically changes, or uh, you want to check Chevron share market, or you want to uh, check Cisco, or... Pff, uh, come on, uh, DAX, FTSE, and so on and so forth. So you can automatically change it from here and your uh, your chart will automatically open uh, uh, change as well. So, um, first of all, let's start with the calculators, okay? Oops. Oh, by the way, you can have different view, either have it as a, a window, a small window over here, and drag and drop it where it, it suits you. Or by clicking on the very first option, you have it like fixed in this uh, part of the of the chart, but it offers you some other options and you can expand everything and have it open like this. This might be more useful, it's up to you, or everything you prefer. As you can see, I will start from the uh, calculator part. The very bottom, you have a calculator. So um, you can, for example, uh, choose a fixed uh, cash risk, okay? Um, how you want to see, the way you want to see your chart in candlesticks, in bar chart, line chart, and etc. Zoom in or zoom out and so on and so forth. Uh, whether you want to see um, the trade level, so you don't want to see the level, you want to see the ask price, uh, you want to go forward or backwards, um, you want to have a vertical scrolling, and so on and so forth. So that, these are just some chart options, chart control options. Oh, you want to count the, the candles and so on and so forth. You see, by clicking, so I will remove it. Okay, keep an eye over here. If I click the uh, candle countdown, I will be able to see how, how long it remains until the candle closes. So because it's a four hour candle, we have another 56 minutes remaining until this candle closes. The volume. Um, we have the constant the historic trades, okay, and the high and the low. So it gives you over here. Look at that. It gives you the range. It gives you the range of the day. So uh, basically, it give you it is giving you the uh, the high of the day and the bottom of the day, as you can see. Or if you want to include also, because if I include the bodies only, it's like that. If I include also the uh, tails, so here it is. High and low, the highest uh, level and the lowest level of the day. Or the open price and the close, uh, not close price, but the open price and where we're standing so far. Uh, what else, what else, what else? This is the uh, high and the low of the recent uh, swing points. These are the pivot points of the day. So you see, there are some uh, indicators and some useful information that you can enable uh, 
oops, sorry, my bad, it's my bad. I want to be zoom in. I want it to be like that. Okay, I want it to be forward. Okay, perfect. So I have my pivot, I have the range. Uh, what else do I need? I think that's pretty much it. That's very good. Okay. Uh, so, so you have in a single window the ability to open a quick position by one click. You can see uh, all the account information. Uh, you can pick a volume size. You can have it the chart control, the lot, uh, the lot size calculator as well. So you see, every time that you're changing that. Oh, by the way, well, I forgot to mention the the the, the um, um, it might be after the calculator, one of the of the most important things that we should mention. mention. Uh, can you see in the bottom, there is a simple information. So it gives you uh, trend direction, momentum, di momentum direction, and how strong the trend is. And you see that, guys, in the very bottom. So trend, momentum, strength. Obviously, for the in the time zone that you are, in the time frame that you are right now, okay? So if I change it, and I zoom out, I want to see everything. That will change as well. So in the daily chart right now, I can see that the trend is still downtrend, but there is not a lot of steam in this particular trend. Um, okay, the, the, the strength of the trend is not so strong, even though the momentum is still uh, is still um, uh, is still quite uh, is still positive. Let's say, okay. So that that mixed picture presents that there is a little a bit of indecision or sideways move and etc. Okay. Uh, also, um, what else? Uh, also, can you see uh, if I choose, if I fill the calculator in the bottom, it gives me the lot, the appropriate lot size for based on what I have a fill, how I filled um, the stop loss, the sorry, the stop loss uh, calculator and the uh, cash risk over here, or if I. So it will it will be amended accordingly, okay? You see, right here, okay? And so on and so forth. So, so, so what else, what am I forgetting? So we have a simple information, momentum, trend, strength. So you see something mixed like that one, it means that is consolidating, but there is an overall strong downtrend. Um, if I change my my uh, my time frame, so let's uh, check. Let's uh, take for example a one-hour chart in which we had a nice massive rebound. So you can see everything is in green. So that means that we have an uptrend with momentum increasing to the upside. So suggesting that there is still a lot of uh, boost, a lot of uh, strength for this uh, intraday uptrend and indeed the, the measuring the strength of the trend is still pointing higher okay um, bam, bam, bam. Uh, and here okay sorry can you see these ranges over here no point ninety seventy six and uh, no point ninety one thirty five this is the high and the uh, sorry the low and the high of the day. So over here we have we can see that it already um, covered more than ninety percent of uh, the distance between the low of the day and the high of the day. I found this extremely useful to be honest. Okay, uh, so because we it's it's another indication that uh, the high of the day is still the key resistance 
um, the momentum is still strong, the trend is still pointing to the upside. Uh, so it's, it's a very straightforward way without doing a lot of uh, manual analysis to figure out what you can um, do next. Uh, 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 are you okay so far, guys? Shall I move on to the next? Um... Ah, by the way, yes, we didn't. Um, I didn't explain these two lines. Okay, I'm just saying buy uh, buy limit or sell stop. So by right clicking, you are automatically setting some uh, positions. Can you see that? Uh, here we are. You see how easy that is. Are you okay so far? It's very, very, very easy. Very, very easy and very straightforward. Can you see? So if I put the sell limit at not 91.50 and take profit at 91.10, that will be $29 off profit. So that's less than 0.03% of my equity. Okay, with 10 uh, pips of uh, size of uh, lots of uh, position size. Okay, and if you want to, if I will, let's say, and you see, so one, two, very, very straightforward without you doing any calculations, without worrying without uh, thinking a lot, and here it is. It gives you the results, so you can uh, take just a second to decide what you will do. So, saves a lot of time. And how you can do that is by, um, okay, let's, uh, actually you can do that, so you, in order to, if you want to use these uh, ladders, uh, no, this is how they called. I'm not sure how they called. <laughs> I think they are called ladders. Uh, so you can click once just to 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 set the stop loss. So I click once my uh, mouse and and click a second time to say to set take the profit. Okay, and after you can. Uh, by clicking once, and once, and it's done. Okay, uh, you can also combine this with a double click. So for example, you hold down the shift key. And you see that? And this is how you can, uh, and uh, but if you click the shift key, it can help you to place a market order. That's why you can see this little window over there where you can see uh, the um, open and pending orders and etc. Boom, straightforward. Uh, also, also, if you double click, you can double click to set either your stop loss or take profit. So on the ladders, by the way, okay guys, on the ladders. So the, the, by the way, double clicking on the ladders, it will open the trade immediately. So be very careful. You might do it by mistake. You double click by mistake without realizing, but this will mean that you have automatically opened a trade. So be a bit careful on that, um, on, the, on the double click. Okay, so, so, so what else? I think that's pretty much it. Um, okay, in the settings, I have everything enabled. Uh, if you want um, some configuration, just like to confirm, close all for simples, or to confirm a quick buy or sell, just in order not to be that, just enable them and you will be just fine. 
So let's move on. Let's move on to the next figure. We have seen this. Uh, we have seen this. Mm, this is just an example of uh, uh, of the of the mini terminal in, in an open position. Uh, you can partially close it again. You can break it even. You can uh, amend it. You can drag and drop this by drag and drop the stop loss. Uh, it will be automatically adjusted and so on and so forth. So we have already seen this and let's move on to the connect option. Okay. Connect. And let's get back to the Again, connect, as you can see, is in the expert advisors. I will drag and drop it. And here it is. So uh, very, very briefly, I will spend only five minutes on that because it's, it's, it's about news, news feed, more precisely, okay? So uh, actually, I want... Uh, So the providers, by the way, is Forex Factory and Reuters, okay? Uh, okay, I'm in a demo account right now. I don't know how all of them, all of them. You have the market calendar as well. So you see, you don't need to use your browser because everything is here. So you can still keep an eye on your charts, guys. But every time that you want to make sure that nothing is like, uh, you're not like in the middle of, it, of an announcement or just a few minutes before an announcement or whether there is a high uh, a volatility announcement during the day that you need to be aware. You don't need to, to run to your browser or something. You just can have the connect in a tab like, let's assume that this, just to be before the terminal, just to, and you can, and you will be able to see all the important events of the week, the day, and et cetera. I amended it accordingly. Like if you want only the high level ones and uh, the times, you can amend the time zone, et cetera. And also you can see there are other figures uh, as well. So the purpose of this connect uh, tab, connect um, uh, tab is for, uh, for you to customize your newsfeed because mainly maybe you are a person that trades only gold. So the newsfeed can amend it and in order to give you only commodity related uh, news or mining news and etc. Um, you can have it in any language that you want by the way. Okay, so add in any other RSS uh, feed, the language of your choice. So you can filter also the stories. You might want uh, to have only the, la the uh, to be informed about, I don't know. Uh, okay, it's the gold one that I mentioned earlier, or you might want to add another filter, uh, text to search for gold or for copper or for inflation or for and etc so uh, you can filter accordingly let me remove the filter over here all selected so here it is okay every time that the uh, fx street has a new article it will be posted over here okay every time that it will be there will be an article so um let me just also Okay. Okay, there's something wrong apparently with my account. Uh, ignore, if you see any errors, ignore because I'm in a demo account, a quite old one. So that might um, uh, provide these clashes. Uh, you see, you might not be interested in all, the, all this. You might be interested only on the Bitcoin. Okay, so I will click on that one and see what this guy is talking about. So automatically you will see this art 
uh, an article from this lady. So you have a quick scan what she says, whether you agree or disagree or whether it was any useful and you close it, you get back to your terminal and so on and so forth. Other than the news, the market calendar, you have also a, a deposit now option. So without having to log in to your my age of area in order to deposit so that you can do it from here. Also, it, it gives you, uh, it, it, we have over here the uh, Forex education that will automatically open the uh, the analysis page for you. Guys, ignore these errors, okay? This is just my um, my my PC and my demo account, uh, so ignore. This is not something that it happens to the live uh, account, okay? Uh, if it does, please come back to us quickly in order for us to, to fix it. How do you close a tool if you don't need it? Ah, that's because it's in the bottom, uh, who asked for it? Auto. Auto, because in the bottom, can you see that it's over here? You just right click and you close it. That's it. You don't need to hold it. Uh, maybe connect is not something that you're interested in. For, uh, or cor correlation metrics. Okay, this is something that we're going to see in the next uh, um, a webinar. But okay, that one is not in a tab, it's a window, so you can quickly close it. But if you're referring to the trade terminal, mini terminal, or connect, which are, you can see in the very, very bottom, you just right click and close it. That's it, straightforward. Uh, I just had power now and I missed the first few minutes. Please, can I have a link? Edit, don't worry, since you have attended, our uh, team uh, will send the recording to all the attendees. So you don't need to worry, guys, okay? You don't need to worry if you cannot stay the whole hour, the whole hour or if you have any connection issues, etc. These are recorded and they will be available as soon as we uh, finish with our uh, class. So what is pending? What do we have seen? Okay, session map. I think it's the, the will be the very, very last one that I'm gonna cover today. Uh, because we are running out of time. Uh, actually, I'm gonna try to do a tick chart as well. Uh, yeah, so session map. I will get back to here again. So again, below the expert advisor, session map, drag and drop, okay. And you will see the word map. So this is a without a lot of uh, uh, a lot of thinking, a lot of uh, nothing. You know that you are in the London Open, okay, in the mid of London Open to be precise. And these little dots in the bottom shows whether we have any news uh, coming, any significant news. If you see gray, gray color, it means that there is there is a lack of news, there is a lack of significant news. If you see red or uh, yellow, then are these are the high level, high uh, volatile events and medium uh, level uh, uh, based on the volatility events. So as you can see, the, the, the key events of the day are over. So ahead, ahead of, actually, no, sorry, uh, it's vice versa. The, uh, so far, it was a really, really quiet uh, day. From now onwards, however, we have two important events coming uh, that will take place just prior the US Open and in the US Open. So let's see what are uh, these. This is Sibila Gar speaking in 30 minutes from now, th 36 minutes from now. And, and in a five o'clock server time, so this is in an hour and a half, we have US uh, consumer confidence. So you see, no calendar, no nothing. Here, you are in the middle of, uh, of uh, London session, uh, just 30 minutes away from the US Open and two key events uh, upcoming. Uh, by the way, uh, the session map is not, not just a map and a calendar, but <laughs> once again, it gives you account information, right? On this uh, over here, if I right click, I can see account information. And as well, 
you can, uh, if I just show you, okay, I, uh, either by just taking your uh, cursor on top or just click on it, you can see that this is a high impact event at five o'clock is this uh, consumer confidence in US. And if you had any positions open uh, by clicking on the um, on the session, you will be able to see uh, uh, your positions in progress as well. Okay, I don't have any positions open, but if you you wanted a quick review of your um, of your positions, that would be. There will be a summary over here, okay? Uh, with the uh, trading range, with the um, uh, uh, the whether it fall, whether it rose, and so on and so forth. Um, what else? What else? What else? That's the session map. Session map is easy. It's straightforward. Pretty pretty easy. Some people like it. Some find it not so useful uh, it's up to you you will figure it out you can use only the one the things that um, uh, you prefer last but not least for the day because it's all, we are already 20 one hour and 26 minutes live is the tick chart trader okay okay over here there are some uh, of the figures that this tick chart trader provides, but instead of seeing the slides, I'll, I prefer to demonstrate it on the actual, uh, on the actual um, uh, platform. So, okay, tick chart trader, drag and drop it, okay. Cool. Um, okay, so power yen. Okay, now while we are in the dollar index, on the back we have a dollar index. So it, with this way, by the way, you can monitor two two uh, assets at the same time. So what we have over here, tick chart trader. So tick chart trader shows um, is a tick chart. Okay, it's a tick chart, so uh, we can see the bid and the ask price changes every second, as you can see, every second. Uh, by the way, you can choose also, you can amend this chart accordingly. You can, if you want to have a 50, um, uh, 50 ticks length chart or a thousand ticks, uh, length chart and etc. You can amend it accordingly, or you, you want the chart shift or not. You want to pause it if you want to download because you're using this for important purposes and, and etc. Um, if you want to take action as well to buy and sell, so a very quick way. By the way, by clicking just. Uh, so I have it in the slide. Can you see that? I have three ex extra fast order ex uh, entries. By clicking Control C, uh, you will be able to um, close your position, your open position. If you click Control B, you will be able to, and then you click on the at the same time by uh, you, by clicking on the ask price and click control uh, B or holding control and click on the ask price, you'll be able to place a new buy order. Uh, or by uh, by clicking control C, you will be able to uh, place a new sell order. So these are some extra fast order uh, entries that you can use with the control key while you are using the tick chart trader now let's get back to the oops uh, by the way can you see um you can have this um, tick chart without necessarily be uh in the mt4 or mt5 so you can you see i can have it while i'm uh, i have uh, my presentation or while i'm watching something else in browser or so you can have it anywhere you want even in a different um display um, hmm. 
So as I said, it shows the the bid and the ask price updated every and every uh, whenever uh, the price changes. Um, you can see also the speed. So um, let me just close this. You see, you have you can amend it accordingly. This is the ticks, the bid and the ask. If you click the speed, that will automatically uh, add on the background the speed per tick. So these gray bars indicate the time between every single tick. I don't know how many of you uh, are using actually this information uh, with the ticks. Um, I haven't heard um, that people rarely use it, but is there? And if you're one of those people, why not uh, try and use it? So, uh, ah, but just to clarify that the tick speed is calculated based on the rolling average. So the number of ticks specified by the number in the numeric field in the toolbar, and it gives you the average speed for the last five ticks. You can amend the average price, and if you want, you can tell, uh, put it to 10, 15, etc. Um, do, 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 or you can change and you can uh, time the chart. By clicking time the chart, that means that uh, it will show you each individual tick, but the X axis, okay, uh, is divided into equal amount of time. So let me just amend it a bit, okay. Uh, so basically, here we can see the activity interspersed with periods. Okay. Uh, candles. How do I go back to my chart? I click. Ah, sorry. You don't need to go back to your chart. Your chart is there. I, I just. I am sorry. I just had my PowerPoint in front. Your chart will be there. I mean, it's on your the back. This is a separate window that you can have either in front of your chart or move it in a different, uh, in a, printer, a different display or minimize it, man, minimize, maximize it, and et cetera. You, your chart will be on the back, Ola Danbo. I click connect on my EU chart. Oh, you click connect. Okay, you, your chart, okay. <laughs> you just need to close it. So right click, it is okay. You did that, right? You drag and drop it, right? So you drag and drop it and you had the connect. So you right click and you close it or minimize it or maximize it. You can minimize it if you prefer, you see? By minimize it, you will have it, <laughs> you will have it in Windows. Okay. You will have it in Windows. Or you just just completely close it. Terminal as well. Close it. Either by right clicking on the tab or by um, just click on the X button. Um, mm -mm. Let me get. Uh, okay. Oh, by mistake, I close also my tick handles. But uh, I've shown you uh, what the tick handles shows. Uh, no, I forgot something. Very, very, very last uh, thing that we're gonna cover today because we run out of time. So let me bring back my my tick chart trader. Okay, and here it is. Just very, very briefly. Let's see the very, very last. Um, the very last. Oops, sorry. The very last uh, figure is called versus. So you can have. Uh, let's say Aussie dollar versus dollar uh, Kiwi dollar. So two. Um, let me just chart shift. So what you have over here, you have a chart, a versus chart, which shows the activity on one simple versus the other. So plotted each against each other, basically. Or if I choose gold. So, okay, how can this be useful? 
if you, by plotting, let's say, OZ against gold, it, it has two different uh, symbols plotted together. So what these lines, these random lines, you might consider that they are random, but these lines uh, show us the correlation in their movement. The higher, the more, the lower, the less the correlation. Okay, if you see, so now, right now, this very second, the correlation is a bit low. Okay, so because we are plotting them against each other, it shows correlation. Okay, there is a different uh, way to see whether the correlation is strong or uh, weak, and this is with our correlation matrix, but this is something that we're going to see uh, in the very next um, uh, webinar. Once again, you can place quickly a position. I have explained that uh, uh, with those control C, control B, control S, um, extra fast uh, orders. And that's pretty much it. And you can, if you're a person that actually, um, uh, uh, that you, in order to uh, make your uh, strategy the best, uh, the best to improve your strategy, you can download uh, actually the history of, let's go back to the ticks. You can, sorry. It's a download button that it provides you in an Excel file. <coughs> Sorry. The history of the selected simple, the history of the selected uh, simple that will show the date, the bid price, the ask price for uh, purpose, for um, reporting purposes, and uh, maybe in order to um, um, to study them a bit, uh, it might help you with this way to. Uh, improve your uh, strategy. And that's pretty much it for me, guys, uh, for today. Uh, we're going to see all the rest in the very next session, which is this Thursday. Okay, so I haven't, I haven't covered um, the indicator package, but we're going to have one more session. So uh, you can come back on Thursday with questions if you have regarding regard to what we have covered so far okay and we can cover the questions in the very next in the very first 10 minutes and afterwards we're gonna see everything uh, 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 all the rest of the figures that uh, there are in the premium uh, traders tools such as the indicators the correlation trader the correlation metrics the market manager uh, and the sentiment trader. This is what we haven't, we have not covered today. It completely closed my chart. Don't know why. No, no, it shouldn't. No, 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 it shouldn't. Look at that. I will demonstrate it once again. So I drag and drop connect. Okay. So you see, it's a new tab which I can either have it full screen, okay, full screen, and go from one tab to the other. So in the, you see in the Aussie, I have my mini terminal. Next to it, I have the connect, next to it, I have cable, dollar, etc. Or you can have it minimized, okay, somewhere at here, okay, and at the same time to see your um at the dollar Swiss, let's say. Okay, I don't, I don't know why. Uh, the the closed the particular ah yes, it does that. Yes, or Ladamo, sorry, yes, it does that. So it's better, you know what? Instead of yes, instead of of drag and drop it like I did, you can right click. Uh, no, there's not the option of attach to a channel. There's the modify, delete. Mm. Uh, actually, you can just open it. Yes, if you double, instead of drag and drop it like I did, by double click on it, it will not, you will not lose. No, you're still gonna, yes. I'm sorry, that one needs to be adjusted on it, on a, uh, on a chart, not on a chart, on a window. 
so yes it takes over your uh, your um, asset the trade terminal and the connect are the two that that, that does this that is uh, is um, taking over the chart uh, it is attached to any particular chart uh, but i think only those two all the rest uh, they don't. They don't. They are not attached with uh, an asset like, um, yeah, the ticket chart or the mini terminal and etc. There are separate tabs. You see, it's a separate tab. But yes, you're right. Hola, hola, tapo. Any other questions, guys? Before I call it a date. Anyone? Okay. So I'm going to see you again on Thursday. Have a great day ahead. Take care. Miss Lagarde will be on her feet in 20 minutes. And U.S. consumer uh, confidence later on. Ah, uh, all of that, but a way to restore it. Uh, good question, actually. I don't think so. If I connect it, and if I right click and close it, store it, no, I'm afraid not. Hmm. No, no, I'm afraid not, Olaf Dabo. Sorry, did you miss anything significant? You can, do you remember which asset it was? If you remember which asset it was, just, just open it again from the market watch list. I assume you had indicators on, that's why you wanted it back, right? That's why you should have templates. I mean, you see all these analysis that I'm doing. At the end of each day, I go over here in the profile session and I save again my profile in order the next day to have all these highlights and these indicators that I have applied today. I just have a lot of data on that chart. I'm really sorry, Olada, but I should have mentioned that before. Really, really sorry. If you had your profile saved, though, maybe if you close and uh, uh, and open again your MT4, it might be there. If it's if it's is this something that you have added today, or is something that you have added and um, you 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 have it as your profile and you you uh, you you had it on uh, every day. I mean, it it was saved as a template or something. Because if you, I close right now and open again my MT4. Let me just. Because I have it as a profile, I have saved them as a profile. All my indicators will be there. You see? Hmm. Really sorry for that, Ola Dabo. Really sorry for that. So, guys, I have to go. I'll see you again on Thursday. In tomorrow, we have a live analysis with Stuart on our social media, including GoToWebinar, uh, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter. Uh, which are, yes, this is it. So, join us. Join us tomorrow. Thank you very much. Have a great day ahead. Bye bye.